Hi everyone, Love at Scout 1 again. Um, I thought the first video that I'd do is a review on a bushcraft knife. I know a lot of you are into your bushcraft knives and I know a lot of you will have seen this one. It's the um, Condor Bush Law. Um, I bought this knife about 12 months ago. Really liked it, really liked the quality of the sheath. The sheath's excellent. It's really, really well made. Lovely leather. You know, somebody's put a lot of time and effort into making that. It's really, really durable. Um, I've been using this as my go-to knife for stalking for the last 12 months or so. Um, and I must have been one of the only people that could g have got it sharp because I, I used a diamond stone and a diamond hone on it and got it quite sharp. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but it's been reground. This was one of the Mark I knives, um, which is made from the thicker stock. Um, but it had a really, really narrow choil on it, really, really narrow grind. Um, and I ummed and ahed about changing it and thought about doing it myself. Um, I went on a couple of websites, um, British Blades UK and Bushcraft UK, and consensus of opinion was to talk to a guy called Longstrider. So I found him out, found his website, and um, talked to him about it, and he said, yes, yeah, send it down, and I'll reprofile it for you. And he has done, and... I've got to say, for the money I paid, I think it was 25 quid with postage to have it reprofiled. He's done a fantastic job. This knife is razor sharp. I've growled to deal with it. I've growled, growled a couple of deal with it actually, and didn't even touch it. Didn't need. Didn't need stealing up. Didn't need touching with a whetstone afterwards. It's razor sharp. It's absolutely, absolutely mirror razor sharp. You can see it. Um, I really like the knife. It's very heavy. There's plenty of heft to it. It's nice and thick. I like the. I've looked at the the new one, the Mark II, uh, and the stock just isn't as thick. Um, the handles on it, I think, are walnut. I'm not sure, but I don't know if you can see that. This one looks like it's been in its case in the sun somewhere, probably in the window of the store where I got it. Um, so it does need some work, but as a go-to knife for stalking, um, absolutely top. It's really good. I can't fault it, and for the money. Uh, it, you know they're just brilliant I do know that they have um, changed the um, grind on them now so it is a full grind you can see there where it's been ground out some bit camera's not very good but you can see there where it's been ground out um, and it's been ground there where it says Condor uh, they're made in El Salvador the steel is very very good um, I've got no problems with it at all. Uh, I know a lot of people sneer at um, using wooden handle knives for grelking deer, and generally I wouldn't do. I have um, frosts clippers for that, um, but I just thought, as soon as I'd had it ground, I'd give it a, I'd give it a whirl. So all in all, I'd say a fantastic knife. Um, if you're in the market for one, try and get a Mark One and um, and have it reground. Um, I'll give a big shout out to uh, Longstrider. Uh, absolutely excellent grinding service you can find him at longstrider.co.uk i think um quality knife maker um you know and the service that i've got from him has been brilliant um so i hope that um i hope that gives you a bit more of an insight into that knife i know a lot of people have done reviews on it but it's a really good knife um and for the money i think it, this was 30 quid um delivered which you know you can't you can't say further than that really right guys um first video done i hope you like it uh, any comments um any suggestions by all means give me a shout all right cheers guys have a great evening bye bye